For the 10 year anniversary of Pretty Pink and Pamper, the addition of a panel talk was added to a list of things to do. Um, I want them to be more aware, more aware of, of the research of what to, of how to self-check and um, about the uh, awareness of cancer, period. Because it's, it's not just a particular person or an age group or anything like that. It could be anyone, anybody, male, female, at any given time. And I want them to, I want everybody to be more aware of it. And this event, again, was part of the Pretty Pampered and Pink event, and they encourage you to make sure to attend next year. An event celebrates its 10-year anniversary, all while honoring women with breast cancer right here in the capital city. 12 News' reporter Shay O'Connor has more on the Pretty Pink and Pampered event. It went on at the Marriott in downtown Jackson. Morgan says her mother died of breast cancer. Years later, in 2014, she was diagnosed with colon cancer, but she was a lucky one. Her cancer was detected early. I was fortunate enough that they caught it in time, uh, had the surgery. I did not have to have any chemo, um, and everything went fine. Morgan is just one of many women being celebrated here at the Pretty Pink and Pampered event. It offers free makeup, nails, lashes, and hairdos for women with cancer, specifically breast cancer survivors. If you're going through any ordeal such as cancer, you need to have that pick-me-up. And um, you need to have something that's going to make you feel good about yourself because there's so many down moments that you're going to have. And that's just what the event has aimed to do over the last 10 years. Provide cancer survivors a place to feel encouraged and not alone. Organizer Dr. Shalinda Quinn says the event started off with just 40 women. This year, Pretty Pink and Pampered is serving 100. It, cancer is in everybody's family. It touched everybody's family somewhere. So it's, it's just not in Mississippi. It's all over. And we welcome everybody, it, as many as we can take. We just welcome. Quinn dealt with her own struggles, watching a close family member suffer with the disease. Eventually, the idea sparked. Now her services offer women suffering with cancer, a day of much needed support. My grandmother, um, I watched her with cancer, dealing with cancer, so I was very familiar with it. As me being a stylist, a lot of my clients, you know, they would come in and then hair was falling out, you know, from the, from the chemo. And then I started making wigs. So and then we started getting makeup done. So it turned into a makeover and then it turned into an event. The women undergo a makeover, then attend a gala. They walk the red carpet and enjoy their night, knowing many will have to continue the brave battle against cancer tomorrow. In Jackson, Shay O'Connor, 12 News.